a note on Paper Moon with Ryan O'Neill and Tatum O'Neill. This is an excellent film, wherein I think, I'm not sure I need to check this out, uh, Ryan O'Neill uh, is cast alongside his daughter, Tatum O'Neill. I mean, it, it would be too much of a coincidence, and I think they, they um, found a way to, um, to use this bond between father and daughter in real life and place it on the screen. This girl is fabulous. I'm, I'm not sure how old she is. Seven, eight, but she's playing to perfection. And another thing that needs to be checked is what happened to her career afterwards. Of course, we have um, prodigies, children who act with uh, genius an early age and then something happens and the adolescent or the adult is no longer the wonderful actor he or she was as a child. I'm thinking Macaulay Culkin, or, uh, the, the famous uh, hero of uh, Home Alone, 1, 2, 3, 15, I don't know how, how many they made, um, 2, 3 definitely, more, I'm not sure. Uh, so, um, this is a story of a father who is a crook <laughs> and uh, who somehow unwillingly um, teaches his daughter to cooperate, to, to be uh, his partner in crime. Not that, again, that's something he wants to. It's, it's part of this uh, um, comical approach uh, even if there are some serious undertones and I'm not sure how that will uh, be uh, presented uh, today in terms of political correctness what what can people get from this uh, it will need to be violently condemned uh, in, in places uh, the behavior of the father in fact the misbehavior um, and it's definitely abusive in parts but uh, uh, having a, a, a satirical approach uh, the point would be we laugh at this man we don't approve what he does um, and um, there's the issue of smoking she, she smokes the father says, "Don't don't smoke. You're, you're young, and then you can set this thing on fire." But back then, they didn't know better. Uh, parents smoked with their children. Um, pregnant mothers did so. Uh, now, with these studies, uh, they don't do it anymore. Or those who do, they're just the criminals we still have in the world of today. So um, early on. The father goes to the uh, at the last moments of the funeral of a woman he knew, and there's already speculation there that he is the father. He knew the woman, and there's this girl, eight seven, uh, and she looks so much, so much like him. The jaw, um, and right from the first few minutes we understand the type of character he is because he goes to to um, one of the relatives and basically uses blackmail you see she was killed and it was your brother and the car and if we take this to the authorities and uh, you will lose uh, half the factory and, and the house and uh, so there will be a few thousand dollars to say the least that if and the man says two hundred dollars two hundred dollars okay so the character played by Ryan O'Neill takes the money um, offers a little bit very little uh, very small sum to the girl and they're talking a 
in a sort of a restaurant and she says I want he, 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 she's trying to uh, to get him to accept that she he is her father and do something about it but he's oh no 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 the child if I know you my dad doesn't mean I I'm your father no no way okay then I want my money what money what is your child uh, and she starts to scream after a few exchanges and uh, knowing this will cause a commotion and there's pressure on him. What the two hundred dollars I heard you and what Shh. So okay, they, they 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 get on the road together, unwillingly in his case. And slowly she starts to move into this game uh, with wonderful humor and again and again excellent acting I mean I I don't recall seeing someone so so in control and doing a rather complex uh, game because she's both innocent and a child and still determined she's brave she comes up with a scheme to uh, to eliminate this woman who is a sort of a poorish character uh, taking advantage of her father and making her uh, suffer the consequences in the process and she comes up with a scheme she provokes the woman she traps her into a uh, proposition of money and money for sex and uh, uh, an interesting entrapment and she plays all this with with the skill that lacks for so many so many most adult actors I mean I can think of a handful that would play at the age of 40 50 uh, so well uh, she is at the level of the best adult actor. and they sell Bibles and she's the one the girl is the one who in some instances manages to to uh, offer an escape to her father when she, she's selling Bible with this uh, pretense he has the name of people who died and they know that they announce the, the in the paper and that's the name also of the, of the wife who says my beloved has died and we have the ceremony or whatever and based on that he comes with a supposed fake order of a, an expensive Bible uh, hello excuse me mr. Simpson oh he passed away oh I'm sorry because you ordered uh, I'm sorry to hear about your loss and, uh, he ordered this Bible and he pretends it, it, it was for the woman, the wife, because he had it in gold letter and he wanted her to have this more expensive Bible, 10, 12, 8, he looks at the circumstances, the crooks know that, and he knows how much to claim. Often the girl comes with an outrageous 25 for a widow, 25 is a lot of maybe a thousand in the in the money of the day anyway it will be a few good hundred uh, with the inflation and all um, and she's very good at observing this this woman had some pearls ornaments and indeed she she got the jackpot because she says not only 25 I'll give you 30 because you came to my door and so on and in the case of the police of uh, the sheriff who had a star the poor father didn't know how to get out and not end up in jail but the girl comes there and says daddy we need to go to the church let's hurry uh, the service for mother poor mother died and and she gains the sympathy uh, she looks so innocent <laughs> uh, but then she is so um, mischievous devious at times one could say.